ordinary citizens are typically barred from attending legislative sessions. However, DPP at-large legislator Yu Wanru hopes to change this, offering a bill that would allow children under the age of three to enter. Premier Simon Zhang doesn't support the measure as he worries noisy toddlers could cause quite a disruption. As the new legislature reported for duty last month, DPP at-large legislator Yu Wanru pushed a stroller containing her six-month-old son. She was upset she couldn't bring her son into the legislative chamber. This inspired her to make a draft amendment, allowing legislators and government officials to bring children under the age of three to legislative meetings. It also permits them to care for their children and breastfeed. I think that there are many dual-income families with no children because of economic pressures they face. They may also face a conflict between demands of the workplace and the need to rear children. I think the legislature should have an open attitude and support this because it is a highly symbolic institution. Some people support the proposal and some oppose it. I think it would be strange to bring babies in the legislature as they may cry or require feedings during question and answer sessions. From the perspective of our international image and visibility, I think this would benefit Taiwan. I also believe that our colleagues will only bring their children when there is no alternative. In addition, lawmaker Duan Yi Kang has also proposed a motion responding to Taiwan's shrinking birth rate that calls for a daycare center in the legislature. In this way, lawmakers will be able to achieve a work-family balance.